The US dollar has finally closed the week without losses, although both bulls and bears were active during the weekly session. The US dollar index, which measures its value against a basket of six major currencies, finished the session at 90.98, having gained just 0.18% from the opening level. Investor sentiment was changing following the news on the coronavirus pandemic in the US and worldwide. On the one hand, the approval of the coronavirus vaccine improved risk appetite. However, the surging number of new virus cases in the U.S. raised worries over the country's economic recovery. This forces the U.S. government to adopt more stimulus measures and the Fed to change its monetary policy. All these factors are not favorable for the U.S. dollar. However, the greenback is still holding steady. Thus, the euro-dollar pair closed the week near the opening levels, despite the key factors for the euro. The ECB downgraded its economic outlook on Thursday and decided to expand the bond-buying program. This is sure to weigh on the single European currency. Surprisingly, the markets responded with more buy positions on the euro, which helped it return to the previous levels. Market participants were also monitoring Brexit talks between Brussels and London. On this front, the US dollar also managed to gain ground. On Friday, the pound-dollar pair reached a four-week low at 1.3130. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen commented earlier that the post-Brexit deal was far from being completed. The UK and the EU agreed to extend talks until Sunday. However, no decision was made. It seems that a no-deal Brexit is a highly likely outcome. Like most currencies, Bitcoin stayed almost unchanged against the US dollar last week. Yet, in the middle of the weekly session, the number one cryptocurrency edged lower to $17,627 per token. On Friday, it closed near the level of $19,209, having won back all of the previous losses. The continuing lockdowns caused by the pandemic, the increase in the US dollar emissions and the purchases of BTC by institutional investors create a favorable ground for a bullish rally. This means that Bitcoin may again try to break above the level of $20,000 next week. Meanwhile, oil quotes have settled above the level of 50 US dollars per barrel, first time in nine months. This rise was supported by optimistic sentiment after the approval of the coronavirus vaccine. As a result, Brent finished the week with 2% gains. In the meantime, gold failed to show positive dynamics. Early in the week, the precious metal was trading higher, but then returned to the opening price near the level of $1,839.40 per troy ounce. You've watched the combined financial review on Insta TV with me, Anna Kasatkina. Press likes and subscribe to our YouTube channel to always keep track of all the latest financial events together with us on Insta TV. Bye.